Hey, what's up? It's Matt for 360 Investigations, and as the title of the video says, I'm going to show you how to properly prepare Tyvek for making a footprint for your tent. Now, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of videos on YouTube that show you how to size it and cut it, but they don't show you how to prep it, and that's what makes my video different. I'm not going into sizing or doing anything else. I'm just going to tell you exactly the process that I'm going to be using for doing this, and you can follow along, and I'll explain why. So first things first, here's the section of Tyvek. You want to make sure that the Tyvek you get is longer than your tent on both si height, I'm sorry, width and length. So in this case, my tent is eight feet in length, and I think it's four and a half feet or five feet wide. So I have Tyvek that's 10 feet by six feet. Now, as far as prepping the Tyvek, you want to take it outside and open it. What you see on there is a wet face cloth. So, what's happening here is most people will just go ahead and cut the Tyvek without getting the creases out of it, or they'll crumple it up. The problem with doing that, or you're crumpling it, or not getting the creases out of it, is that you don't actually have a fully expanded Tyvek piece. So, when you're doing the measurements, it could be off more or less, depending on what you're doing. So, you want to take it outside, lay it on something flat, and then get the creases out of it by going over it with a wet face cloth the best you can. And, I put it in the sun to um, soften it up. The sun isn't going to harm it. So, since the Tyvek, you have to put the Tyvek through the wash to get the sound out of it, a wet face cloth is not going to harm it because the thing's going to be outside anyway, which is the point of having it on here. So, when I'm done, my specific tent will not allow me to put grommets through it to put the tent pole in it because the tent pole that I have will not go through both the tent and the grommet. It has to go in one or the other. So for this, a lot of people put grommets at the end of it, and that's a bad idea, simply because the grommets, this thing has to go underneath the tent, shorter than the tent is. But if you put grommets on it, now you're sticking grommets under your tent, which defeats the purpose of putting the ground cloth down in the first place, so it doesn't actually make any sense to that. Secondly, to reinforce the corners, they duct tape it. There's no reason for that. In one video I found, somebody put a little bit extra on the edge and then folded it over with contact cement. And what wound up happening was that gave it a lip and it gave it um, a, a, a smoother or a sharper edge. Now, the reason why that's good is because I'm putting webbing on mine and I need the webbing to go under something that's reinforced. So by folding it over, you're reinforcing it and then you will have, be able to put the webbing on that. Now, the webbing is not going to have a grommet on it either. It's going to have shock cord, which also will have a clip sewn to it. I am sewing this to the Tyvek. I am not taping it. I'm not grommeting it. I'm not riveting it. Nothing. So this way I can stake it out with the shock cord and then the tent clips into the uh, footprint here. That's how my tent is set up. So one thing a lot of uh, people that do Tyvek footprints don't tell you is that some tents are asymmetrical. That means it's small. It's um, narrower at one end of the tent than it is at the other so it's not a complete rectangle even though it looks that way and my tent is shorter on one it's it's um has a shorter distance on one end than it is on the other so it's kind of like weird that they don't actually mention this and they should so make sure when you're doing this that you make you basically want to outline your tent if you can if you can but again always leave about three or four inches extra so you can fold that edge over so you have a cleaner edge you have a way to strengthen the corners without having to put a grommet in it, and it's um, a cleaner edge, I should say. Yeah, that's it. That's basically it. Sorry if I repeated myself, but that's really what I wanted to get out of the way is prepping this to cut this. So when this is done, I'm going to show you. Um, furthermore, people put it in the dr a washing machine before they, you know, add all the extra stuff on it. Don't do that. Put all the extra stuff on it first and then throw it through the washing machine. It's that simple. So that's it. That's all there is for this video. And when the when this thing is done in a couple of weeks, as I get to go to all the parts for it, I'll uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So that's it. Till then, it's Matt for 360 Investigations. Signing out. Hope this video helped. See ya.